What is going on you guys, it's Royal Tim here, and today I'm gonna give you a brief overview of what we're gonna be covering in this series to come. I'm going to be creating a design system, and this design system is going to be materials design system in Figma, and I'm gonna do my best to translate what is currently being displayed on this website into Figma itself as a design system. So we'll be going over first the foundation, and the foundation entails things such as the layout and what is layout like a response creating these responsive grid layouts of styles in figma understanding how to build these out using proper space spacing methods and how components will be laid out on them um, so we'll be going over that and we'll also be going over how to apply a color system utilizing material designs color system and implementing that into figma as well as style color styles um, and also we're going to be going over typography and building out the typography system that is specified here in material design, but in Figma, how do we do that and translate this into Figma? Um, also, we'll be going over iconography. And with iconography in Figma, we're gonna be um, basically applying the structure for the, that are specified in the product icons. Um, I'll have this set of icons already in Figma when we go over it, but I'm going to show you how to organize it and access it via the instance drop-down menu so you can swap amongst common components and other component icons, which are components as well. Um, and also, we're going to be going over a portion of interaction, which is states, states being states for certain components. So in that portion of building the design system, we'll go over foundation, and then moving on from that, we'll go to components and we'll literally build out every single component on this page from scratch and utilizing the foundation that we've created in Figma. So we'll start with the app bars, um, app bars bottom, app bars top, all the way down to the very last component being tooltips. And we'll go over how to like construct it via its anatomy, right? So we have all this information, how to use it, the placement and behavior, and basically I'll teach you how to basically view this file and build it out in Figma from scratch and apply the proper constraints so it's responsive just in case designers need to modify it. And that is basically gonna be the design system that we'll be building in Figma, which is material design. And that's the brief overview. Later.